He dears. Now it's another suggested video on Megasquorogenesis for you. This video explains the answer for essay question of Megasquorogenesis. Hope it helps. More detailed videos on embryo development and others will be updated soon. Megasporogenesis essay. Megasporogenesis is defined as the process of formation of haploid megaspores by the meiotic division of diploid megaspore mother cells or megasporocyte MMC inside the megasporangium ovule. The haploid megaspore undergoes repeated meiotic divisions to form the embryo sac. Steps. A. Megaspore mother cell MMC is a large diploid 2N cell containing dense cytoplasm and prominent nucleus which undergoes meiotic division to give rise to four haploid megaspores. Note. In the majority of the flowering plants, only one of the megaspores is functional and the rest three degenerates. B. The nucleus of the functional megaspore divides metodically to form two nuclei which move to opposite poles, forming the two nucleate embryo sac. C. Two more sequential meiotic divisions result in the formation of the four nucleate and later the eight nucleate stages of the embryo sac. D. These meiotic divisions are strictly free. Nuclear. That is, nuclear divisions are not followed immediately by cell wall formation. E. After the eight nucleated stage, the cell walls are formed, which results in the formation of a typical female gametophyte or embryo sac. Before fertilization, a mature embryo sac contains seven nuclei, out of which six are haploid N, and one is diploid 2N. Thus, in angiosperms, a typical embryo sac at maturity is seven celled but eight nucleated. The formation of embryo sac from a single megaspore is called monosporic development and is the commonest one or normal type of embryo development among angiosperms. Similarly, several other types of embryo sac development are also known in angiosperms such as bisporic, tetrasporic and so on. 1. Monosporic or polygonum type. Here the only one megaspore of linear tetrad give rise to female gametophyte. Embryo sac. Example. Polygonum. 2. Bisporic or allium type. Here the embryo sac arises from the combination of each one from the two cells, dyad, formed after meiosis C. The other two gets degenerated. Example. Allium. Tetrasporic or adoxa type. Here all the four megaspore nuclei takes in the formation of embryo sac. Example. Adoxa. During fertilization, the haploid male gamete present inside the pollen grain and the haploid female gamete present. Inside the ovule, fuse together to form the diploid zygote. The diagrammatic representation of normal female gametophyte formation is shown here. Hope all enjoyed and it helps. Please like, share, comment and subscribe us for more videos and comment us your suggestions and experience on exams after viewing the videos of our channel.